lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to make this lovely 3D fascinator from scratch. They're really nice and simple to make. We're just going to use some Cricut craft board, we're going to use some fabric, and then we're going to use some washi sheets, some shimmer paper, I've got some patterned cardstock, and then we're going to use some jewellery wire as well. So the first thing we need to do is make our fascinator base. So I'm just going to go to shapes and I'm going to grab a circle. Now I want my fascinator to be about four inches. Uh, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to make it 4.3. I'm then going to come and get a score line. And I'm just going to turn my score line around. I'm then going to place my score line in my circle. I'm going to highlight both. I'm going to go to align and center. I'm then going to come and grab a triangle. Now I'm just going to unlock my triangle and I'm going to transform it. Now the reason I put a triangle in is we're going to make some shape. So we want to slice it out. Now, the wider your triangle, the higher your peak will be on your fascinator. Because we're working with a small area today, I only want a small slice. I don't want a big slice at all because I don't want too much shape to it. But if I was working with a bigger circumference, then I would obviously have a bigger slit. So I'm then going to remove the score line. I don't need that. I just wanted it as an indication of the center. I'm then going to highlight both and I'm going to slice. I can then remove those pieces there and you can see that I then end up with this slice part. We're going to glue those two pieces together and it will give the fascinator just a little bit of shape. As I say, the wider your slice, the more shape you will have. I'm then going to go to images and I'm going to search for butterflies. And I'm just going to choose this butterfly today. So I'm going to insert image. I'm then going to ungroup it. And I'm going to delete the layers I don't want. So I'm going to delete those layers. I'm then going to bring these ones back. And I can have a look and see which ones I want to work with. So I'm then going to delete the blue layer. And I'm also going to delete the black layer. I'm then going to come in and I'm going to size it. So the smallest size I want is one inch. I'm then going to duplicate it several times and I'm going to make them all different sizes. Once I've got my sizes, I'm then going to go through and I'm going to coordinate my colours and work out which of my butterflies I want to cut on the same mats. Now I know that I'm going to need more butterflies than this, but I always start out with a few and then I go back into design space and just cut some more out. The reason being is I don't want to cut lots and lots out and then overdo it really and then be left with you know all these butterflies in a jar. I'd much rather cut out two less and go back than to cut out far too many. So we're then going to go to make it. So you can see I've got all my mats here. Now at this point this is where if I've got lots of mats I go through and I work out what materials I'm going to use. We can then go to continue. So for my base layer, I'm using Cricut Craft Board. For some of my butterflies, I'm using Cricut Shimmer Paper. For some of my butterflies, I'm using Cricut Washi Sheets. And then for some of my butterflies, I'm using some patterned cardstock, which I've got. Now, I cut that out using the medium cardstock setting. And for everything else, because they're Cricut products, I will cut them out on their dedicated settings. 
please please do remember if you're going to change your materials on each of your mats you do need to come into design space and you do need to change your cut settings so you can see my craft board base here and I've got my slit so I've got some art glitter glue so I'm just going to glue down one side and I'm then just going to fold over slightly and then just glue that in place and I'm just then going to let that dry so this is what our base then looks like now I'm going to cover this in fabric now I'm not going to cut my fabric on my fabric maker just because it's such a small amount and you can easily do it by hand so I'm just going to place my fabric over my base and I'm just going to roughly go in with a pair of scissors and just cut a circle. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to go round my circle and I'm just going to add slits in all the way round. And this will allow my fabric to sit nice and flush on my base. I'm then going to grab my hot glue gun and I'm just going to go round part of the base on the inside of it and I'm then just going to start placing my fabric around it. You then want to go around with your glue gun and make sure that your fabric is flush to your base. So you can see I've got my butterflies cut out, I've got my shimmer paper, I've got my washi sheets and I've got my pattern cardstock as well. I just put some art glue across the spine and then I can glue two together. Now with washi sheets it's slightly different. So this is some of the Cricut Anna Griffin washi sheets and you can see, you probably can't see, but they are cut out but they've not cut all the way through that's because they're not supposed to so washi sheets is a little bit like vinyl it's not as adhesive as vinyl but you can see that you're going to weed it exactly the same way I then go in and remove a little area and I'll then tweezer them up and I can then add them to one of my bases of my butterflies. So I've got some jewellery wire here and I'm just going to cut a little bit off and I'm then just going to thread it into my material and if you struggle you can use a weeding tool or you can just hot glue it in place and we are going to hot glue it as well but I just want to hide it underneath a little bit I'm just going to work out where I want it to sit. So I'm then going to hot glue this in place so it takes this shape and I can then hot glue my butterflies onto it. Don't worry, you won't see the hot glue because you're going to cover those in butterflies or flowers or whatever it is you want. So I'm actually going to go and construct my hat now. I'm literally going to hot glue my wire piece is in place and then I'm going to hot glue my butterflies on and I may add some feathers as well. I'm not going to show the bulk of this just because I'm really fastidious when I do these and it will take forever but I'm literally just going in with a hot glue gun and I'm just working out where I want everything to sit on my fascinator. So I'm nearly finished, I've just got to hot glue another butterfly here and then you can see I've got some wire showing here so I'm going to hot glue a butterfly onto there and then I think that's going to be it and then I just need to add the clip to the back so I've just got my hot glue gun and I'm just going to put some on the back of this butterfly here and I'm then going to come in and I'm just going to place it where I want it to sit on the wire 
and then I'm just going to glue this one on and then I'm just going to make a little hot glue mound here and I'm just going to let that dry for a second once it's dry it will act as a kind of 3D base to put my other butterfly on so I'm just going to add some hot glue to the back of this one. I can then place it onto the hot glue we've already got and it will just give it that raised up effect. I'm then going to leave this to dry. You can see I've added some felt to the back. That's just to make it all a little bit neater. I just cut out a circle and then I've hot glued it on. I'm then just going to hot glue my clip into place as well. So that's now hot glued in place and my fascinator is all nice and ready to wear.